Hello and welcome back to Sir Assist. So we've got some more Sir news for you today guys. So make sure you stick around to see the latest goings on. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Surrey yet, sign up using the link below. You get a free limited card and you also get to draft your fancy teams. And you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter and check out SirAssist.com. Okay then guys, let's have a look at the latest Sir news. So guys, let's get straight stuck into the latest Surrey news then from the last seven days. So the first one was a big roadmap update from Surrey themselves. So let's go through this and digest it. So we're excited to share the latest product updates across Surrey Sports and some football specific building upon those shared earlier this month. This includes updates on a new regulatory framework in France, cash wallet system, month-long competitions, jersey drop, drop in the club shop, Golden Cap 270 competition and more. So a re regulatory update, a temporary change in France. So the French government recently shared its plans to propose a new bill that will introduce a new regulatory framework for exchange exchangeable in-game items. This development is, is excellent news for the web free gaming space as the introduction of the new framework that successfully harnesses the potential of web free will be key to its growth and success. While the scent technologies await more suitable frameworks, companies like SoRare sometimes have to temporarily adapt their products to comply with current interpretation of existing regulation. Before the new framework in, the, in France is adopted, we, we have agreed a temporary solution with the French National Gaming Authority that creates an optimal alternative method of entry for users based in France only. This temporary Alternative entry method is only made available in France because it's specific to the regulatory discussions with the ANG in France. Each country has its own framework. We're confident the regulatory framework for exchangeable in-game items in France will influence other frameworks across the globe that are suited to the web-free gaming space. In the meantime, our position remains unchanged. So Rare has nothing to do with the games of chance regulated by the gambling authorities. Alternative entry in France. The temporary solution is now live in Surrey football for game week 374 and will go live in Surrey MLB this Friday May the 26th with game week 17. Please note this is an alternative entry method for France based users who choose to explore it. Note this temporary solution does not impact our core game competition structure or reward supply. In fact, it allows Surrey to continue our larger efforts towards achieving product stability and gameplay improvements, e.g collection game, ETH, reward distribution across competitions, and more. How will the alternative entry method work? So let's just have a quick look at this alternative entry method. Obviously, it's only going to be for French-based users. So French-based alternative method. So these are the details then. Well, let's just have a quick look at this then. So these are strict rules in place for users to participate in the optional alternative entry method. Users must be based in France and have a valid server account with a verified phone number. Complete a verification process which requires proof of residence. This verification process only applies to alternative entry method for French based users. Not submit a team composed of any blockchain cards in the related game week. Comply with the terms applicable to the alternative method of entry. Step 1. Ahead of the game week going live, users based in France who have not submitted a blockchain based lineup will have 30 additional minutes to request a lineup from so rare to participate in the game week. If they choose to do, do so, it's optional. For example, in Surrey Football, the alternative entry method will be open Tuesday and Friday, 4 to 4 30, and 10 till 10 30 am ET time. So, this sounds a bit strange to me. <laughs> so, that means that does this mean they can't actually enter a competition with the survey cards, but then they can 30 minutes in the 30 minute window? So step two, when a user selects this alternative entry method, survey will randomly generate and propose a team of five players or seven players for survey will be. For that user via email, the proposed lineup will randomly compose of players represented on the blockchain cards competing in that game week, including submitted teams for the game week. The team of players proposed by Surrey may have bonuses. If bonuses apply, they will ind be indicated and will be similar to those affiliated with blockchain cards. Within the 30 minute window, the user can send a follow up request for a new randomly generated lineup if they choose not to play with their current proposed team. Now, this just sounds. Well, it sounds like a load of garbage to me, this. <laughs> it's certainly something I'm not hoping that the UK 
or any other users will have to regulate to. So step three, once the user accepts a lineup within the 30 minute window, Surrey will then automatically submit the lineup into an open competition for that particular game week, subject to the eligibility criteria for that competition. For Surrey football, all lineups that include bonus similar to the different types of scarcities will be submitted to the academy competition. All lineups that are eligible for the global all-star competition five players with bonus similar to the limited card bonuses will be submitted to that competition for example for recent game week 373 proposed teams would have been composed from the following pool of players okay so for example the likelihood of receiving a tier zero card in a user's alternative entry method lineup in game week 373 was 4.6 percent and then it goes on to say about mlb so step four if the lineup selected by user via this alternative method of entry Finishes with enough points to win a reward in that competition, the user will win the reward relevant equivalent with their ranking in that competition. The user will not appear in the leaderboard but will receive an email that indicates the number of points scored by the team, ranking and reward won. Now, this just all sounds like a total disaster <laughs> to me. Um, like I say, I'm glad that this is only a temporary solution for people based in France. And I'm hoping it doesn't come to any of the other regions around the world. So, anyway, let's skip on from that then. And we'll move on to the new cash wallet system then. So, some of you may have recently spotted a new pop-up window we were testing as part of our project to launch a new payment system process. We're excited to share some of the key progress over the last few weeks as we open a new and significant chapter for so rare in our user experience. No Surrey ETH wallet functionality will remain unchanged. The new payment process will allow Surrey managers to deposit and withdraw their Surrey wallets in US dollars, euros and the British pound sterling. The new cash wallet system, previously referred to as a fiat wallet, will launch this summer. Upon launch, it will support payments through credit cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay and it will also support bank transfers for deposits and withdrawals, not payments on the open on the marketplace. Now, this is something that's really, really good, really important as well for so rare to obviously get the masses in, because obviously the crypto side of depositing and withdrawal is quite um, early in its evolution, I would say at the moment. So it's um, a pretty tricky system to do, and at the moment as well for Binance, I know that the UK. Customers are currently affected by Binance. You're not able to actually deposit Great British Pound into Binance to buy crypto. And you're not also allowed to withdraw it now as well due to the Skrill Bank pulling out of finance. So they are looking for a new alternative to that. But at the moment, if you are using Binance, you won't be able to convert your ETH to Great British Pound and then withdraw it from Binance. So I've been using Coinbase recently. So that is something to bear in mind if you are still using the crypto method. But obviously, this method of this fiat wallet, the new cash wallet, is going to alleviate those troubles, especially if people are coming to so rare that are new to crypto. So the new cash system is similar in scope to our Ethereum scaling solution in 2021, which launched limited and removed much of the friction associated with gas fees and congestion on the Ethereum network. We're working hard to launch a new system and thrill to the at the prospect of making the new the payment and withdrawal process quick and easy for our community. We will share more details including exact timing ahead of the launch this summer. So football products roadmap updates then. So introducing month long competitions. So this summer we will launch our first ever month long competition format for each card scarcity. In this new format managers accumulate points over multiple game weeks. Our community will have to to put their best scouting hats on to build championship teams. No managers will be able to submit different teams, not just for the month-long competitions. The comp this competition format has been one of the most popular community requests and we can't wait to bring it to you. Full competition details, including rewards, which will include ETH, survey cards and VIP experiences, will be shared in the coming weeks. This is good. It's always good to have more utility and more chance to obviously pick up those prizes, of course, on so rare. And it'll be interesting to see how many places actually win this month-long competition. It's probably going to be another one that's probably hard to win, but it's another opportunity to hopefully get amongst the prizes. And yeah, it's certainly a good idea and something that I'll be looking forward to. So the Jersey Club Shop then. So football jerseys are ready to launch in the Surrey Club Shop to 
To begin with, we'll drop 100 mystery jerseys in the club shop starting Wednesday, 24th of May. Celebrate jerseys will be available at the early bird price of 10,000 coins. Note, managers will only be able to redeem one mystery share every 30 days to make it as quit- quittable as possible. We're, started small, we're starting small, so expect much more jersey drops across the summer. So, yeah, the first jersey drop has actually happened now, and the all 100 shares sold out in 39 seconds. If you're lucky enough to get one, uh, well done. I didn't even know when the drop was, so I missed the chance to actually get this free shirt, unfortunately. But obviously, this is a good thing. It's a good extra bonus to for the use of the coins. It'll be interesting to see what sort of shirts, mystery shirts, the people that did manage to grab those first 100 receive. So, K-League Weekly Special Rewards. So, in our recent football product roadmap update, we shared the challenges so Ray's facing with K-League coverage this season. We're frustrated by the situation in an effort to show this great league, much needed love. We're launching our first ever K-League Special Weekly competition on Thursday. So, that is June the 1st, so Game Week 377. The rewards for this special event include higher level scarcity cards and Kaylee jerseys including sand jerseys as well so this is good this is a little good extra reward there for the Kaylee while we are having issues with getting that data from the data provider but yeah this is definitely a step in the right direction golden cap 270 so cap mode 270 becomes golden for game week 375 to mark the end of the busy european football season we're increasing the rewards at the top of the end of the leaderboard prize pools were revealed once the game week 375 opens for submission now at the time of recording the prize pools are now of course live so let's have a look what you can win in this golden 270 i've actually got my team together here as you're as you can see I've gone through a Consadol Sapura stack. And if we look at the prize pool then, so first place gets a rare, star rare, and a limited star as well. Second place also gets the same, plus third does as well, so double double cards there. Fourth to twelve get a limited star and a tier one rare. Thirteen to fifteen, tier two rare and a tier one limited. Sixteen to twentieth also gets double as well, so a tier four rare and a tier one limited 33 to 45th gets a tier one limited and a tier five rare and then we've also got a tier one rare for 46 to 48 49 to 198 gets a tier two so that's decent 199 to 798 gets a tier three 799 to 1131 gets a tier four and 1132 to 1297 gets a tier five so there's plenty of rewards up for grabs there Plus, of course, you're going to be getting your sir coins as well for getting a certain points. So that is um, looking a really generous prize pool there from Sir Rare. Uh, my team's ready. I hope you've got your team ready too. So celebrating OG common card collectors. So we're excited to offer rewards to managers who have accumulated a large collection of classic common cards. This follows changes to the common card utility and structures noted in our January Surrey so football update, including removing old common cards. The above link changes and following manager rewards go into effect Wednesday the 24th of May. Although, guys, this has now been postponed, I believe, for around a week, if I remember the tweet correctly. So I think this has been postponed. So your common cards won't be removed just yet, but they will be removed in the next few weeks or so. So this is what you'll get then. 10 coins for each classic common card that is removed from users' galleries. A level up boost for each scarcity in which a ma- an impacted manager earned at least one card. An OG badge and banner for managers who lost 100 common cards or who earned a common card from 2019. OG, if you didn't know, is shorthand for someone or something that is an original or originator. So you become an OG if you have 100 cards or more then. So it looks like I'm an OG because I've got 220 common cards so that's good so i should be getting a few of these survey coins then so 10 times 220 so 2200 coins coming my way that'll be nice add that to the kitty okay then so collection game reminder as announced in our recent football products roadmap update we're rolling out our new collection game this thursday may the 25th Managers can assemble club collections and around specific club seasons and scarcities such as 2022, 2023, Napoli, 
limited cards are the 2018-19 Club Bruce rare cards. Aside from the fun of assembling players from your favourite teams and leagues, managers can compete for bragging rights by climbing the collection leaderboards and earn a collection bonus for all player cards in an album to boost their chance of winning rewards in our game week competitions. We can't wait to see the collections you build. So yep, yeah, this is live now. This is my collection score so far. Uh, as you can see, I've got a few points there for Addington Junior, Zenit, Itch United and um, River Plate as well in there and a few other clubs. Not got that many points though. I'm certainly not going to be focusing my efforts on buying the cards for these collections. Even though some of the players might be like in the limited anyway, two to five pound. That, that those amounts can so, soon add up. I'm still going to concentrate on just buying quality players for the SO5 tournaments. But if you like this collector idea, then go ahead and fill your boots and you can get points and obviously you'll get bonuses as well on your game week scores, I believe. So that was all the news from the last seven days from the world of so rare. So plenty to digest there. Plenty of new features to get stuck into as well. And I'm certainly looking forward to the Golden Cap 270, which will now be concluded once you guys see this video. Okay then, thanks for watching as always. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Get your free Sora ebook by using the link in the description below. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook and check out SoraAssist.com. Okay guys, thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you again on the next video.